I'm going to do a quick demo of just some of the lighting tips and tricks that we were talking about this afternoon. Um, let me bring my Revit up. There it is. Okay, here we go. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of places where we can download things. So we have on our, let me go back one, on our class Moodle, again to review, we have uh, some libraries of lighting materials here. So Revit lighting families, you can always go to just the BIM object site also. So I'm going to go to this Eureka one because there's some kind of fun stuff there that we've used in the past. Um, if I open it up, I'm just going to quickly pick this guy because there is actually a Revit there. Um, I'm going to pick the 16 inch. Now um, there's a lot to uh, specs and material to go with this lighting. Here's the Revit files right here kind of in the middle. Um, and it's downloading now. If I click on it, uh, it's got to be extracted. So we're going to, uh, in my case, I just have it, I opened it, you know, shows in folder, and then I hit extract all. I say extract. It's in my downloads. It's going to, now I can double click on it to open it. I got to upgrade the model. It doesn't take too long. Um, here it is right here. Um, so notice that uh, this is a, like a lot of things in Revit, it needs a host family, meaning it needs a surface to, tick, to stick to, to stick to, hopefully it's a ceiling, it's not always the case. So we're going to click in um, load into project and close, or you can just load into project. I want it obviously to go on my project one small office. And then here's where it's dumping me, it's actually dumping me here in level one. Um, I don't want to stick it. It's, it doesn't seem to quite know where it wants to go. If I click over here onto ceiling plans level one, um, it's still kind of there. So we've sort of kind of lost the component, but I have to go back to architecture up here, component, there's the lighting now. And again, it's giving me this no kind of symbol. Um, if I go way up here to the top to the right and I say uh, place on face, um, now I can get it here. So I'm going to stick it into this office for now and we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, what we're going to find is probably it's uh, hanging much too low. So here's my office here. It's, this is where I put it. I'm going to go up to view, get my little 3D camera and take a look at what that looks like in reality now. Um, that's not too bad actually. This one's kind of nice. Um, let's see. If I wanted to edit how far it drops down, if I click on it, for a lot of the Eureka ones, this works really good. Well, if you click the edit type, um, see here where it has default elevation and cable length, the cable is the cord that it's hanging from. So if I wanted to, to drop lower, I could put in three feet. I say apply, I say okay, and now see how it's dropping lower there for me. I'm gonna undo that because actually it's default is pretty good. Let me show you another room where I played with this a bit too. Over here, I'm in my conference room. I think, let's see if I might have the view up already. All right, so this is also a Eureka light. It's a kind of a big hexagon. Let me kind of cover over and get a hold of it. There, whoops, so there it is. Now we got it, okay. If I edit this guy, when it first came in, its cable length was eight foot. So I'll change it now, make it five feet just so you can see. Um, okay, and see now it's like down in my table. But if I go back to edit type again, cable length, um, I'm going to stick it instead for two feet. This default elevation doesn't always work. It's really the cable light that I'm playing with. So now I'm up to there. This guy also came in. I'll click on it if you can see again again. Sticking to the walls. So let's I'll show you what it was looking like. It would look at, it looked like this as it came in. Um, in its case, again, what I want to do is to make sure I'm going on the ceiling. Is you use this pick new. And in my case, I picked the ceiling and said, I really want you on the ceiling instead of on my wall or my floor. So when you load in a light, if you don't see it right away, um, if it dumps you right away in level one, it means it's trying to stick to a wall or a floor. A good light will jump you right into level um, the level one ceiling plans. Um, we're also going to take a look at another kind of way to download them. Uh, so I go to BIM. A lot of times you're going to find them pretty easily there. Uh, the kind of hang down are called pendant lights. Um, so I'm just going to stick in pendant. Um, and right away, I've got some that are, you know, a bit more modern for offices. You've also got single pendants here, but this this kind of linear one is very popular right now. I want to make sure first I'm looking at Revit, only Revit files. So I'm going to make sure I've got Revit right there. Hit apply. And then let's see, we're going to take a look at, um, we'll take a look at this nice sort of circular one here. And I'm going to download it. There's the Revit there. This one shouldn't be a zip, 
see down there on the left, I'm just going to click and open that. Oh, we got to upgrade it. Wait for that for a second. Um, here it is. Here, here's the light kind of the family of it. So I'm going to load into my project and close again. And let's see what this guy does. Uh, these I've played with a couple of these already. Again, it's it came in. See, it came in on my level one floor plan, and it wants to randomly stick all over the place. So <laughs> we'll see if we can get it into level one again. Ceiling plan level one. That's what I clicked on. And again, it kind of disappeared. So we got architecture component, place a component. Now it's there. Uh, still saying no, but I can uh, pick place on face. And now it should be in my room. So I'm going to put one there and I'm going to put one there. And let's see what that looks like. So if I go back to level one, we're going to do view camera like that. And that's pretty good. They came in. I like them. But let me show you a trick that if it does come in on your floor plan, we'll try that again. Another thing you can do just so you can see what it does. So component, place component. If I randomly just wanted to like just get it in the room because you've had enough of dealing with these lights, right? Oh, my, my cat is just walked across. Hi there. Um, so if we go to level one, we go back to this view I just made. There's that crazy light trying to stick randomly in space. This is where we use oh, my cat's tail again, the, um, the green pick new surface button. And we're going to pick the ceiling again. So we want to stick it up there. If I look back on my level one ceiling plan. There's that one that I've just moved from kind of floating on the side of the wall. I can also move it back here, make it look more normal. Go back to my view and now it's kind of lined up. Again, if I don't like how low these are hanging, um, they work for me, but you know, somebody tall might bang into this. I'm gonna hit here and say edit type. And the default elevation is four feet. Let's see what happens with two feet, if it'll let me change that much. Uh, apply. Okay. Mm, that guy didn't do too much. So some of this is going to be pre-programmed by whoever made this light. So they might not give you too many options. Uh, we can drill down a little bit more. Let's see if we've got more options here. Suspension height. There we go. Oh, wait, hold on. I just lost that. So let's try, mm, let me try just a whole different number there. See what happens. Apply. See if we can see it on the screen. Okay. Now it's down way down five feet. So suspension height in my case I might want it actually one foot from the ceiling and see how all three of them you now jumped up like that so sometimes you have to kind of hunt and peck depending on the manufacturer of where you can control the height of this some of these lights will come in uh in multiple widths um in my case I think this one and only loaded one but you might load in a family that has multiples too all right so just to review might come in here uh, it's a lot easier to jump over to level one on your ceiling plan over here on the left and then pick a surface. So again, pick the new surface here. Um, we will play with this and troubleshoot it more in class on Thursday. We're also going to do a lot of troubleshooting of this for our final project because Anthony and I are going to push you to, you know, pick some more exciting lighting than just these two by fours and, and the can lights and things like that. All right, hope this was helpful. And um, again, email me if you have any questions on this too.